industry where uh, it is not very well known in India. Uh, so we try to see what is our contribution to green technology for this industry. So it's about construction chemicals and we'll talk about what we do in this. Uh, there are several categories as listed here. Uh, it, it starts from admixes that goes into concrete, basic concrete structures and repair chemicals as well as industrial grouts, flooring, so and so. Uh, also tile installation materials, that's where we are, our company Amical Atticate, we are going to talk about it. Also wall systems, either skim coat or plasters, that's also very much comes under construction chemical. So as you see, this industry is very much growing. Uh, as you see, uh, as of now, it is somewhere around 3,500 crores. Uh, but the way the construction, the way the growth happening uh, is, is projected somewhere around 25 to 30,000 crores. It's somewhere around 4 billion US dollars. It's happening in another four or five years. I'm going to talk about one, uh, the, the survey done by UK is a government organization. They did a very good survey uh, to say what's happening in 2025 for the construction industry. So it is about uh, 180 pages, uh, the report. It's uh, very thoroughly done. Uh, in that, I took some four key points that talks about. It's relevant to India also. So what are those points? It's a smarter construction. Obviously, as we move forward with a lot of uh, the technologies, a lot of new constructions, volumes, smarter is obviously the key thing. Uh, then the lower cost by 35%, because if you're not doing it, then you cannot sustain. Uh, then the next key point, they're talking about faster delivery. Obviously, because when the volume grows, complexity uh, increases, then the faster delivery is also very much it's important. They say it should be 50% more when you're doing 2025. And more importantly, the lower emission by 50%. So they give so much importance. If you don't take care of those things, I think the industry is going to be in problem. So an industry that leads the world in low carbon and green construction exports and build a low carbon construction industry, so that is going to be more sustainable. Uh, the industry must hurry to find in innovative new products and solutions. Also, uh, certainly we build another 270 million new homes by 2025, mostly affordable homes. So global construction market to reach uh, 15 trillion by 2025, so that's a huge volume. So if we talk about uh, sustainable and uh, carbon dioxide emission, that's a carbon footprint that's we're talking about uh, uh, it's a long time and the estimates and projection for the big five uh, it's given from 2008 to 2035 projected and as you see India is the third third largest and even if you talk about from 2008 to 2035 after so much of uh, uh, green technology green technology awareness sustainable uh, and still we are growing in terms of carbon footprint, okay? That means that is not a good sign. So that means we need to take care of it and what are the ways we do it. The, the industry we talk about, Amiglaticrete, it's a tile and stone insulation products. And as in India, uh, the tile is a very common, it's a tile usage in terms of a commercial or residential or uh, uh, any, any shopping malls, wherever you talk about. Uh, so the tile concern is growing in a, in a way, you can see that I think the CAGR is almost 10% per annum. So the data source here almost for 2016 is uh, 14, uh, 11, 1143 million uh, uh, tons of tiles, a square feet of tiles is sold in, in India. And if you extrapolate for the 2018, almost maybe another 20% more. So how they are fixing all those tiles? So what the way they are doing it? So there is, a, everybody knows that for the tile installation, basically, okay, go take the tile, use a sand and cement and mix it, fix it. That's the way normal traditional system, as you see in any high-rise buildings, any plot, if we take it flooring. So there is a three to four inch offset. So uh, what they do, they bring a lot of sand and mix the sand along cement with it, then make a very dry, semi-dry mortar bed, and then put a cement slurry, then fix the tile. That's the way they do, used to do. So in this you can see, uh, not only the method is very old, but also they use a lot of cement, a lot of sand, and a lot of dust happening, and a lot of water. So when you talk about all those elements about the green or sustainability, all is happening here in a, in a negative way. So think about uh, taking the materials to 20 or 30 uh, uh, high rise buildings, uh, then dumping it so much sand, a lot of pollution, air pollution, 
and especially you don't need that much sand because you need maximum maybe one or two mm, three mm, but they're going to make it at 75 mm mortar bed. Then uh, sprinkle some cement, fix a tile. Okay, that's the way it used to be. But you know what happens? Because many places you can see, I can give you one best example, okay, even now. So there is an airport in Hyderabad, it's done in 10 years ago. There is an airport in Chennai, it was done three years ago. So I think many of you might have traveled. So in a Chennai airport, if you travel, every tile in the floor is broken. Okay, either it's cracked or broken, or you can see hollow sound. So that is a basically done three years or four, five years later than Hyderabad. Whereas Hyderabad, 10 years ago, they did the right technology and you don't see any of the problem. So the, the, the places like airport, it's very visible. It's a highly uh, people movements where you can see this kind of issues. Uh, you can see the tiles cracking is a problem. Not only that, a lot of dust coming out. And what are you going to do? Replace it, right? So that is probably they use the, uh, the technology what we are talking about, the traditional system. So they are not aware, okay, go mix the sand and cement, fix the tile, but it's not going to happen like that. So what is the new technology? So in this, as we said, it's a dry mix mortar. It's a factory made. Uh, it's a certainly customized formulations where we optimize the sand, cement, other specialty chemicals. So that means it's guaranteed for the performance. Uh, then it is uh, transported to the site in a, in a back, seal back, so there is no air pollution or whatever it is. It's easy to transport, quality is controlled. Down the side, they add the water. Uh, then they are going to use it in a maximum 3 or 4 mm thickness, and it's very use, easy to use, and there is no quality issues. And you fix the tiles, and you can see that the tiles fix with this technology. Obviously, uh, it's highly durable. And uh, that's an example of Hyderabad Airport I'm talking about. The tiles will be very durable, no matter how, what kind of usage you are doing it. It may be like a light foot traffic or heavy foot traffic like airport, but it's highly durable. So there, you can talk about all those things. You are saving a water here. You're saving a sand here. You're also saving the cement here. And in addition to that, it's a durable. That means you don't need to replace again and again. So these are the technologies probably it's needed for, uh, it's a technology we are talking about 2025 where the industry is growing leap and pounds. So, uh, so that, that adds all the values on the green concept. Uh, similarly, grouting, okay, grouting is, uh, comes in between the joints. Uh, normally, wherever you see, they, they use uh, certainly some kind of a, uh, cement, white cement, add some pigment, then put it. Another three, four days or one week, they use some cleaner, everything is gone up, right? So what happens in between the joints, water leaks, and again the problem. So not only water leaking, the dust coming out, air pollution, environmental pollution. So go with the technology where it is again same way, factory made, quality controlled, all the, all the, the performance attributes are there, and wherever you apply this, it's a highly durable. Okay? So again, it's a green concept. Uh, to give some example between the traditional system versus uh, the new technology, just I made a small call, please. So we talk about a thin bed, thick bed, some 50 mm, then the amount of cement used plus slurry, almost for 100 square feet, it's about 30 kg. And the amount of cement needed for, a, a, what about the tile consumption he talked about, 60% of the tile consumption of the flooring. So it's somewhere around 112 million uh, uh, tons of uh, uh, cement used in this technology. Whereas the same thing when you go that the, the thin bed uh, tile technology, what we are talking about, it's about only 77 million tons of cement. So what's the difference? It's about 34.5 uh, uh, million tons, and it's almost, it amounts to 11% reduction in carbon dioxide. So not only getting the better technology, but also you are saving energy, you're saving the carbon dioxide footprint, and the green technology, uh, there is no sustainable issues are there. Uh, so it's, it's a straight comparison. So what happens as of now in India, as we talk about, this technology is only in 10% of the tiles used. So as we move from 10, from 20 to 30 or 40, probably we are going to save tons and tons of cement. And that way we contribute to the green concept. 